Hi, welcome back to Impossible 2.0. Next up, I have Aries. I'm been I'm gonna be working all day today. I have to pick myself at four o'clock. But happy birthday to all my Aries. Happy birthday to my friend Terry. Her birthday was yesterday. I'm sorry. Um, you know, uh, oh, I've been going for a minute, and um, a lot of magic, black magic, and evil energies and things was thrown on me, and I'm still going through the process. But right now, I'm just <laughs> I'm in my spiritual realm. Okay, I'm in my spiritual realm. I'm just gonna leave it like that. But um, let's go. Uh, I have readings coming out for you uh, all this week. All this week. Tomorrow my son is home, but I'm going to be busy. But I'm going to get an angel for you guys because black magic has been thrown on a lot of signs. You're one of them. Okay? You are. Okay? You, along with Sagittarius, Scorpio, um, Leo as well. My sign, Aquarius. All right? And I'm Aries, rising moon Venus. So, yeah, you know what time it is, guys. So let me get your angel. Yes, Baraccio, Jealousy. Okay, this is all about jealousy. You're looking good. Okay, I see. I do see a lot of eyes on you. You have a lot of admirers. You, you're becoming in tune with yourself. You're feeling good about yourself. Some of you guys may have platinum blonde hair or do hair for a living, wear a lot of weave, okay, or just changing up your look. Uh, some of you guys' favorite color may be fuchsia as well. You may be having dreams about houses or living a big house or envision yourself being there, and I see it, okay? But choose wisely. Right now, you're letting go of love. You're letting love wither away, and you're putting all the self-love into yourself, okay? Some of you guys' name may be Rose as well but it's like rising up it's like a brand new you okay <laughs> yes okay a brand new you baby you may be dealing with a pisces or have rising moon venus or you know if no one in pisces you you're highly intuitive follow your intuitions guys some of you guys may be very fertile at this time pregnancy but fish is all about abundance as well and i do see abundance of wealth health success and love you're gonna have options here okay now, with the birds, there may be a lot of gossip and eyes around you, so be careful with who you speak to, okay? We call this monitoring spirits. You have a lot of monitoring spirits around you, okay? Yes, a lot, all right? Now, some people miss their opportunities with you, but birds is all about communication, so be careful with who you communicate with. But I do see people looking at people, a lot of jealous, jealous, jealousy of how you live, of how you take care of yourself. But you see, as far as when it comes to your love life, you're letting it wither away. The past is the past. Somebody didn't appreciate your love. Now you're putting the love into yourself. And now you're attracting more. A lot of admirers. Okay. And there's somebody right up under. You see, there's a bird right there. Okay. Somebody wants to communicate with you here. And again, some of you guys may be communicating with a lot of people. Some of you guys may be communicators. Communicate for a living as well. All right. And losing weight. Something about weight and, you know, but feeling good about yourself. Ha. <laughs> Yes, and things being illuminated. Go out in the sun more. You may live in a hot state. I know my friend Terry lives in Florida. So, uh, but things being illuminated, okay? Aha moments, all right? And you're going to get an aha moment here, all right? But Bar Baraccio, some of you guys' name may be Barbara as well. But divine angel of blessings. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you, you're going to be getting a lot of prophetic dreams. House is all about you, okay? So if you dream of like, if you're, because dark dreams, so... I was kicking those demons' ass. You hear what I'm telling you? They sent me a big anaconda snake. I, I'm not even going to go there. But lots of enemies I have. Lots of dark magic they was throwing on me. Okay, I even confronted my next door neighbor. But um, anyway, but you're going to be catching people out in the act. Follow your intuitions. And be mindful of who you speak to. But your blessings are definitely coming in. Shower of heavenly love. Boom. Intercession. There's going to be, you're being divinely guided, but there's divine intervention going on here. Good fortune. Removes blocks to success. You're going to be very fucking successful. Some of you guys may be models out there as well. Okay? Supervisors. But I do see you being in the spotlight. Baby. Okay? Doing it the Aries way. Some of you guys may have rise and moving. So you know if they're in Pisces as well. Okay? So re learning how to contain your emotions. Hmm? All right. I can help you become a generous channel through which God will pour a fountain of blessings into people's lives. And also, you need to pray on your angels. Okay? Ask your angels for help. Prayer. Now is the time I need you guys to be prayer warriors. Okay? 31 is 4. This is all about domesticated matters. What's important? Your house, your car, your, your money, your job, food, light. 4. Domesticated matters. 31. Some of you guys may be 31 years old or dealing with somebody younger than you. Okay. Unikai, February. So you may be dealing with an Aquarius like myself or Pisces. Opportunity awaits. Lots of opportunities is coming in. But somebody wanted to cause delays in your life. No, baby. They cannot. Okay. Let's continue here.
I'm sorry, I'm talking fast. I'm gonna slow down, but it's 136 and I have to leave here by 2.30 to get my son. But I'm gonna, yes, light. Yes, you guys, some of you guys are light workers, okay? But coming back to the light, people see your light, your celestial light, your halo. That's celestial light, okay? But you guys were here to impact the world. 19 is 10. There's a completion coming in your life, okay? 10 and 4 is 14, which is 5. There's changes coming. But the light, you're being called back to the light to depend on your higher ups, okay? To pray more, all right? Yes, but I do see you being in the spotlight and spreading your light to the world. But this is healing. So you got, you guys are on a healing journey, healing, coming back to the light, working on your shadow side, okay? Spreading your light, okay? Yes. Being in the spotlight. Yes, solitude, and in solitude and learning about your spirituality, developing right now, okay? Learning, developing, some of you guys are teachers, educators, but you're going to be teaching others in school and others, but right now, you're in solitude, looking for spiritual things. What am I here for? My purpose, okay? Star seeds. Yes, and to add what I said, follow your what I've been saying from the beginning, your intuition. His doors are about to open. Opportunity, opportunity awaits. Okay, but right now you're still seeking. You're becoming one with the universe. See? You're seeking. And now doors are about to open. Two is all about metamorphosis. Nine is all about spiritual journey. Okay, yes, yeah, you're working on your shadow side. There you go. The devil versus the angel. This is what I've been working on, guys. That's why I've been going. Okay? But your intuition is becoming much prominent. Uh, like, higher. Higher. Okay? That you could pick up on people's energy. You're going to see people for who they are. You're going to see them. But you're working on your shadow side. The devil versus the angel here. Okay? Yes. One more. And a spiritual union is coming in. A tool. <laughs> oh, boy. Boom, boom, boom. And this person is going to be spiritually inclined. Somebody's going to doing their shadow work as well, going through the spiritual ascension, karmic cycle. All right? But again, people karma, uh, their karma. Your blessings are coming in. Be careful and be mindful of who you share your blessings with because your good fortune is coming in. Aries, your hard work is going to pay off. And I see you looking good while you're doing it. Okay? Uh, some of you guys are single out there. And even if you're not single, you're still looking good. But there's a spiritual union coming. But you're becoming one with oneself. Okay, the universe. You're becoming one with, you know, God, the universe, your spirit, guys. But prayer needs to happen here. Okay, but there's definitely a spiritual union coming in. Yes, not for you. See, fortune. Some of you guys may love, uh, be of Asian culture. Six is all about intuitions and family matters. So you may be having family matters here. Okay, yes. Nope. So chess, some of you guys may love to play chess, but right now, careful with how you move. I don't, you're not, you're not playing checkers here, you're playing chess. So you're going to be careful with how you move. Now you see this fortune cookie, right? It's not for you. You may have found, thought that you found the one or you hit jackpot, but be careful with somebody coming in just for your fortune or what you have, Okay. But be careful with people and how you move. Got it? But Spirit is saying, follow your intuitions. It's not for you. Even if it's a job, an apartment. So say like you're moving and you, you, you step into the place. And if you feel like, nah, this is not for me. It's not for you. Follow your intuitions. Okay? Your sixth sense. Black and white is all about balance. No place like home. See? Fumbled. So some of you guys, there's a dysfunctional household. A lot of things, things being illuminated in a household right now. Okay? Yes? Or you could be picking up somebody else's energy. For some of you guys, this could be a third-party situation. You may be dealing with somebody that already had a family. But there's a lot of things from the past resurfacing, resurfacing that you're dealing with. Shadow. You're working on your shadow side. But there, you guys, some of you guys may be married, and there's a lot of things being illuminated in the household as well that was unspoken. Words was unspoken. Now, some of you guys may be on the verge of moving, like I said. That's why I mentioned, like, if you step into a place. Or you may be dreaming about a house. Something about a house, I said in the beginning, right? But there's a house on rocks. There's an there's a instability when it comes to a household. 
or a marriage or family here, okay? No place like home, but it doesn't feel like home. And there's the truth about to be spoken here. But right now, you're spiritually ascending. You're not home yet. You're in between worlds. Yes, time for a nap. Okay, my fumble. You feel restless. You feel like you have, some of you guys are having a lack of sleep. That's because you're spiritually ascending. There's a spiritual union coming in, and somebody's trying to connect with you here uh, as well. But spirit is saying, time for a nap. Don't overdo yourself. Don't overwork yourself. Okay, you're burned out. Okay, pay attention, pray on us, meditate, and it's time for a nap. Relax. 24 6 again. Yes, to be fair. Some of you guys are going to court, but it's, it's, it's karmic justice for you. But again, with the owl, some of you guys' spirit animal may be the owl that's all about intuition. Okay, yes. So there's a judgment coming. There's a judgment coming. Do you see the fortune cookie again? Be careful. Be careful. There's a judgment coming. All right, but to be fair. What's right is right, and what's wrong is wrong. So now, the scales are being balanced. Yes, the scales are being balanced. And to the sea, movement. So you may be having dreams about trains, bus, or you're going to, but as far as movement, it's slow moving, but it's movement. Some of you guys may be dating someone across the seas or meeting someone across the seas or going on vacation, but to the sea. So something is you're going in a new direction, but you're off. You're moving forward, okay? Uh, 38 is 11. The ascendant masters are with you. So now, judgment time. Okay? Judgment time. All right? Hold on. Hey, okay. What's right is right. What's wrong is wrong. Yes, there's a love offer coming in for you guys. Okay? Now, this could be a job that you love, or this could be a love offer. All right? But right now, you feel boredom. You feel things are stagnated. Okay? Some of you guys need to declutter. Some of you guys are housekeepers, but... Be careful with gifts, but there's a boredom. There's a stagnancy here when it comes to your love, okay? But love, going to the next level. Being asked out on a date, yes. Be careful with your temper as well, but setting those healthy boundaries with people. The wheel is turning. Destiny is at play here. Fortune, luck, to be fair. The ascended masters are here now, okay? But they want you to pray as well. Yeah, this is all about your self-image, but somebody tried to ruin your reputation. But I, I, what I said from the beginning, you're stepping out brand new. Some of you guys are going for cosmetic surgery or whatever it is, but you're boom, bast, like, yo, people going to be like, yo, what the fuck? Yes. Yeah, yeah. right now you're learning, developing. Some of you guys are into real estate, looking for a home. Again, something about a home. But home is a represent representation of yourself, how you feel about yourself. Okay, unicorn, becoming authentic. Okay, yes, what you're here for. Magical, unique, yes. <laughs> okay, bosses, entrepreneurs out there, leveling up. Okay, yes, you the boss. Fixing your crown, yes. But you see, you have heavy enemies, like I said. Yes. Okay, man in reverse. There's somebody here that is possibly bisexual or. Um, opposite of a man, um, woman, okay, <laughs> you may be having problems with a boss here that's egotistical, there's a man around you that's egotistical, prideful, um, arrogant, um, yes, uh, controlling, okay, um, a narcissist here that uses their power to get over on people, you're getting rid of a person in your life, okay, yes, you may have lost, so you guys may be widows, but you're going with the flow, fluidity, spirit wants you to go with the flow and be teachable at this time, okay, keep an open mind, you're going through, yes, I see signing contracts, a promotion, a, uh, a house, okay, car, but be careful, but I do see a divorce, separation, or a marriage, but legal matters, Legal matters for some of you guys. Housing situation, yeah, but it's time to clean up the act. The clutter. Get rid of these toxic people, toxic. This man is no, okay, this man, woman, whoever they are, they're no good. They possibly came out the closet or bisexual or something, yeah. <laughs> okay? But simplify your life. Time to declutter. Okay, love. Love is on the rocks right now. It's not about love. It's about loving yourself. It's not about being in love with someone, but it's about loving yourself. There's somebody possibly here who came in love bombing, uh, you know, 
yes, telling you the sweet things, sweet nothings, okay? You possibly fell in love, but now you took your love back. Now you're putting your love back in yourself and taking the lead in your life. Love is not, it's not about love, being in love with someone. But there is love coming in, a love offer. You're going to be unsure about this. You're going to be skeptical, yeah, because you're between worlds. Like I said, you're still in transition. You're still, you know, on movement, okay? Yes. But then you got a lot of hidden enemies that pretend to love you, but they don't love you. Pretend. It's pretentious here. Yes, the world. Okay, something's about to close out here, guys. And you're entering into a new, into a new phase. This is what this is about. But I do see worldwide success in you traveling and moving to a new state or country. Okay? Some of you guys may be journalists, broadcasters, news reporters. But there's a completion. An end of a journey here. You may be dealing with an Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. Yes, delays, but somebody wanted to cause delays in your life, these hidden enemies, okay? Yes, you just feel like there's no progress, there's stagnancy, you don't understand, yeah, because the devil, there you go, boom, what I said. But these are people from your past. This is something from your past or people that you know, but somebody from your past, they, that, that they, they feel like they have unfinished business with you. We're going to get down to the bottom of what this, this is, but these are fake friends, family, yes, that wants to cause delays in your life, jealous of you. Yes, third party situation. There you go. Okay, good health. They want to fuck with your health. Some of you guys may be healthcare, uh, working the healthcare field, physicians, doctors. Okay, but working out again, changing your eating habits. Yes, stepping out new on these motherfuckers. Yes, everything is happening in divine time, and there's divine what intervention. Like I said, and your manifestation is taking off. But again, God is on your side. <laughs> If God is for you, who could be against you, right? Mm -hmm. So the high power is, is with you, okay? Again, this is a time for karma, ladies and gentlemen, okay? So these people are going to be fucked, okay? Anybody who's coming against you, they're going to be fucked. Again, to be fair, this is judgment. Not everybody is, is, is judgment called. The wheel is turning in your favor. The wheel is turning, okay? The wheel is turning. You may be dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra as well. Um, again, when I reach 55,000, I'm going to be giving away my Love Jones deck to 10 lucky winners. I'm only mailing within the United States. Okay, so please like and subscribe to my videos. I've been going for a minute, but I'm back with a bang. Okay, I ain't going nowhere. Just battling a few things here like you guys. Okay, and again, I'm Aries too, so I'm triple Aries. So this is my energy as well. Like... Yes, you was dealing with a narcissist, like I said, okay? Verbal uses emotional uh, manipulation to get what they want, play fucking mind games here. They are attention free. Uh, this could be at work as well, a boss, but this is somebody that you deal with. Some of you guys may be counselors out there or speak to a lot of people, customer service, but yes. Be careful with somebody telling lies on you. Yes, telling lies on you, like I said. Somebody's telling lies on you here, trying to ruin your reputation. The apathological liar. Some of you guys may be authors out there. Okay, right? Fictional books. Uh huh. Yes, but harsh cut off for you. You're setting those healthy boundaries. Some of you guys may be chefs, love to cook. Some of you guys may be vegans or, veg or veterinarians or love steak. Okay, work in a restaurant. But harsh cut off for you. Slicing and dicing. Yeah, ball and chain. Somebody wants to leave you stuck here. Okay, some of you guys may have been stuck in a relationship where you was dealing with a narcissist that lied, lied, lied. This could be your own children. This could be at work. But some, some of you guys may be dealing with a Sagittarius or somebody that's locked up. Okay? Or you may be locked up. Or somebody may have a criminal history here. But there's a lot of burdens on you. You're cutting this shit out. Okay? Yes. Alarm. Pay attention. Some of you guys may be dealing with a firefighter or be firefighters out there. But there's some t disturbing news coming in towards you guys. Pay attention. To your girl Tosh, okay, but anger. They're gonna push the wrong button and it's gonna it may it may land you in jail or it already it already did. I know I almost got locked up. Okay, bow and arrow. Somebody wants to speak their truth to you here. There is definitely a spiritual connection, a soul union coming in, but somebody love struck. Love is gonna hit you. Cupid is gonna strike your ass again. Okay, love is definitely coming in. Yes, Tom and Jerry, you was, this was a cat and mouse game between you and a person, third party. For some of you guys, nobody wanted to lose here. You let this fucking shit go. Bye. Okay? Yes, bye. Yes, sex, lies, and videotape, third party. 
It was a scandal. Forbidden love. Now, you guys may know each other with forbidden love. This may be a same-sex relationship. This may be at work. Okay? But definitely, this was a narcissist here. This could be within your own marriage or relationship. Okay? Yes, yeah, shoot a star, but you're shoot. The light, you're a shooting star, you're healing. Right now, you may be dealing with an Aquarius, but you guys are definitely star seeds, okay? Yes, you're blessed. Your good fortune is coming in, all right? And you're embarking on a new journey to success, and I see it taking off. Your blessings are definitely coming in. And I see movement, okay? Movement. But you're going to be impacting the world, guys. You are. You are. Some of you guys may be um, uh, porn stars as well. I'm not going to lie. Or love porn or getting into that. Only fans and stuff like that. Hey, <laughs> do your thing. But let's see what this is about um, before I move forward. Okay? For some reason, Spirit wanted me to use this deck today. All right? Yes. Two of Cups. This is a, These are two or more people working against you. Somebody that you know for a very long time. That you may have been invested in in a very long time. A friendship, a partnership of some sort. This may be a Capricorn as well. This is an obsession here. Somebody is secretly obsessed with you here with the hidden. But you have hidden enemies as well. Okay? Somebody may suffer from some type of addictions. Yes, the Emperor. There you go. Boom. Whoa, with the emperor here, this is Aries, Taurus, but this is a boss, okay? This is somebody who's very prideful, arrogant, like I said, uses their title or their status to get over on people or get what they want. This person is, it's, um, yes, this is, uh, this is not a nice person, okay, at all. They're very stoic. They don't speak a lot. This could be a landlord. This could be a boss at work. This could be a management. This is this is somebody of power, authority figure. This could be somebody that worked for the law. Yes, nine of swords came out fumbled. Okay, now with the nine of swords coming out fumbled, this is you getting out of a depressive state, getting out of anxiety, but the emperor is your energy as well. Okay, so somebody may be jealous of your status. Okay, but, there, but with the nine of swords here coming out fumbled, there's somebody here that doesn't know how to let go of pride and ego. See? Although they're crying, they're miss they're missing you, they they know that they fucked up, they still act like they didn't do shit to you. But you're getting out of a state of depression, you're fighting your fears, you're defeating your fears. Here. You may be married to this person. Yep, six of wands came out. Oh God. This is somebody here that needs to work on their self-esteem. They have an image problem. Okay, yes. They're very prideful, but then they're, 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 this is somebody here that doesn't get the recognition that they feel like they should get. They see you get the recognition. They feel like they don't get the recognition. They want to outshine you here. Okay, this is somebody here that needs to work on their self. And self. Yeah, two of pentacles in reverse. Somebody feel like they dropped the ball on you here. Yes. Somebody was very stingy, greedy. One sided, they need to make a decision. They're waiting for you. They're gonna be waiting because you're not waiting anymore for this person. They were they were juggling. Yes, this person was possibly married, or you're married to this person. Yeah, they had the lovers. Here we go. They had the lovers here. Okay, six of cups. You may have felt like this was your soulmate, but this person had lovers. You may have been with this person for a very long time, and kaboom, something blew up here. Okay, yes, the devil. You found out. Yep, the devil and the ten of cups. I can't make this up. This is a toxic family. Okay? Oh, this person is a toxic family. This person is spying on you. They want to apologize to you. They've been taking a long time. You may have been invested in this person for a very long time. And again, this is something about a family. A home is on the rocks here. Uh, somebody who's controlling, possessive, greedy, stingy, lovers. Okay? Yes. Have many options here. But possibly go to church. You know, possibly some type of public speaker. Yeah. Mm -mm. Okay, now this could be, uh, and kids are involved, all right? Yes, but this could be a soulmate. This could be, this could have been a, a soulmate of yours, a karmic soulmate for some of you guys, because there's a new soul contract coming in. Or you may have known this person or been married to this person for a very long time, but this is toxic. What's this love offer?
you guys were stressed out over this person. Not anymore. Yep, the emperor. <laughs> this emperor. Okay, so the emperor. Again, this person was pretending not to love you. They possibly had other obligations, so they act like they didn't care about you. This person pushed you away. You decided to leave. This person is waiting now for you, but you're not coming towards this person. This person is going to take a chance. The emperor. This may be somebody new. But this person is growing some balls here. Yes, they can't close this out with you. Now they're trying to find a way how to come in to apologize to you. They're looking at your social media secretly. This person may be an earth sign towards Capricorn Virgo or Aries like yourself. All right. This person wants to reignite the passion with you with the Ace of Wands. Yes, they fucked up. Nine of Swords. They, they fucked up because they came in deceitful. Okay. Yes, they were, they were prideful. They were arrogant. They thought they were better than you here. All right. Now, this may be a boss at work as well, but this is somebody who has a family, but it's toxic. This person is toxic, has a lot of toxic ways about them, like to have people lustful over them, like to carry on third party situations here. But now, it's, yeah, cat and mouse, but now they're they're regretting it. Yes. Four of cups. Now, with the four of cups. All right. This person is going to take a chance. OK, but this person is it's is, is still arrogant. OK, like, oh. Aries is not going to reject me. I can come in. Aries is not going to reject But this person was be de being deceitful here. Now this person feels like they missed their opportunity, but they go back and forth like, did I miss my opportunity? But, uh, yeah, you was uh, regretful. There's a lot of regret with this person, but, again, there's not, there's not regret. You may have offered this person your cup of love, or they may have offered it and you rejected them because you know it was full of shit. They were going back and forth between you and another person. It wasn't very serious here. You decide to forget this person and move on, but now they come in, they're coming again. They're coming again. But they feel like they're going to get you. They're not sure, though. They, yeah, that. but they, again. Now, <laughs> this person may still be married, like I said. Okay? Or you're married to this person, Taurus. All right? But there's God factors here. God is on your side. Follow your intuitions here. All right? Now, this person may be offering you love or not love, but marriage. Like, if you, if you wait for me or if you do this, you know, no. But they're not happy in their marriage. You have three of pentacles. Now, this person wants to come in and work things out with you, okay? They they know that they rejected you or they did something to cause, the, the, you know, they were dishonest with, your, with their love offer, okay? Because they were still married and they possibly was working things out in their marriage and hide you on the sidelines and or, you know, vice versa. But now this person wants to come in to to see how you guys could work things out. They feel like, you know, you work better together. But again... This may be a work aspect, like you guys know each other through work or met each other through work. But somebody wants to work on things. They feel like you make a great team. And let's see where this goes. They're not sure if you're going to accept their offer. They're coming in prideful, but they're not sure. Because some of them are still married here. Yes, Queen of Pentacles. Here we go. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, this person may be married, but they may be trying to work things out with somebody here that's money hungry. They may be dealing with somebody that's money hungry, but they now you're not paying this person any attention. Now you're focused on your money. Basically that. You're focused on your money, but they're dealing with somebody that's money hungry and they're trying to get their priorities straight here. Trying to get, this is possibly a marriage for money. Yes, kaboom, tower. There may be a, a pregnancy here as well, or there may be children in here. As well, some of you guys may be born in the air, the rabbit, Scorpio. Okay, tower. Yes, there's a tower moment coming here because right now you're focusing on yourself and your money and your good fortune is definitely coming in. But chaos, confusion, upheaval. Yes, three of swords, boom, heartbreak. This person broke your heart, possibly chose somebody over you because they had other obligations here. There was top, possibly a lot of money involved here. Broke your heart. Third party, you found out, yes, now you're trying to build your strength back. You're, you're trying to build your strength back. You're strong, but you're getting there. One day at a time, Leo. Yes, because this was a third party situation. Possibly you guys know each other. The Possibly your, the wife or the significant other reached out to you here. But this person likes to carry on a lot of relationship. This person is very prideful. They know they look good or they know that they have status. And, you know, usually people adhere to them and do what they say. Not you, though. Not you. Yeah, you moved away from this. There you go. Not you, though. Not you. So now, right now, you're trying to balance out your life, but you're confused. You're still trying to wonder, like, you know, which way to go. How does this person feel? But you're getting spiritual downloads. 
okay? And you're all up for new beginnings and healing. But this person was a player here, and you decided to cut this fucking bullshit out. But now this person is, is seeing you for your value and your worth, okay? Yes, but you were stuck. You still stuck in your mind, but you were stuck on this person for a very long time, or this person wanted to leave you stuck, and you, you spoke your truth to this person about their, their playing ways. You brought light to the situation, and now you're moving forward and giving yourself new beginnings, and you're breaking free, okay? King, Queen of Wands is the perfect match, yes. This person is possibly locked up as well or got locked up, or stuck in a situation, or you're stuck in a situation, but you're breaking free, and you're taking your power back, okay, but you're perfect match, this person sees you as your, as their perfect match, this person is burdened, they, they have a long-term payment with someone here, but they see you as their perfect match, but they don't know how to come in, they want to come in, but now you have somebody new coming in as well, single, free, yes, happiness is on the horizon, but they may have been a child involved in this situation, or children, and again, this may be a Leo, okay, Be fair. Right is right and wrong is wrong. Yes, exercise. You're getting ex you're exercising again. You're getting your body right. Some of you guys may be health fanatics or hiring somebody or going back to the gym or working a gym or you know be trainers out there. But you're loving yourself. You're enjoying your, your good health and you're glowing. Yes, you're taking a vacation. Okay. Secluded, solitude, learning. All right. Some of you guys may have a tattoo on your wrist or be tattoo artists wearing your spiritual bracelets. Some of you guys may live by the beach, but take your spiritual bath, all right? Get a reading. Some of you guys need a reading. I don't do readings anymore, but um, I, I think I'm going to start readings again, but uh, later on in the year. Not now. I'm, run, I'm running two channels. <laughs> but, you know, if you look in my description box, I have some, um, Anonymous, my business partner, does readings. Some of you guys may be readers out there, but you guys need a reading, okay? Um, some of you guys are learning tarot as well, or be, um, have your own channel. All right. But somebody's possibly getting readings on you as well. Yeah. See the beauty. Okay. So now you're exploring the world. You're, you're, you're seeing things for what they are. Now you're turning a mundane, gloomy, you know, dull, um, setting into a beautiful setting and loving life and seeing life for what it is and that you're still here. And Hey, you're not going to put anybody before you. Okay, yes. You're seeing the world. Now you want to travel and explore. And explore new people. The fool. What the fuck? It's not about love. Okay, just be. In reverse. Somebody wasn't being honest with you and being honest with themselves and how they truly felt about you. You see? How they truly felt. You had a lot of love for this person, but now you let it be. Okay? Now you're loving yourself. But now somebody is in remorse and regretful, but they were too prideful to admit that they have feelings for you. But now it's it's gone. It's gone. This person, again, you're married, yeah. But somebody has a gift for you. Get ready to receive your blessings from the universe. Your good fortune is coming in. Some of you guys may love apples, okay? But you're going to be the apple of somebody's eye. Temptation. Be careful with temptation. And again, be careful with gifts, what somebody give you. But receive blessings from the universe, okay? Balance. What I said, balance is being restored. Restoration, to be fair. Balance and restoration. Okay, some of you guys may need to be into yoga, but spirit wants you to love your journey. This is a journey, okay? Pilates, yeah, denial. And I see denial. Somebody denied you, denied your love, but you're eating right, you're getting right, okay? But now you're denying people, but somebody was in denial here of how they felt. You was in denial here for a while, but now you're seeing things for what they are, and now you're balancing out your life, and now you're doing, making healthier choices with nutrition for yourself, okay? Yes. Somebody denied you. They were toxic. Yeah, one day. Okay, so you're moving forward. Somebody may have a foot fetish here. Some of you guys may be painters, uh, very creative out there, colorful, have a very colorful personality, like to dye your hair different colors or wear different colors. All right, but someday, somewhere, and another time. Okay, so somebody missed their opportunity with you. Okay, wrong timing, they say. They want to meet you again. They, they envision themselves seeing you again. Yeah. Yeah, because this was a runner, but it came out fumble. Somebody doesn't want to run anymore. It was a cat and mouse. Tom and Jerry, what's going on here? 
you know, you stop chasing. This may be a water sign. Now they're spying on you. There you go. Now they're spying on you here. All over your social media. They're being careful. They're monitoring. Monitoring. <laughs> but you have a lot of monitoring spirits around you. So be careful with your energy. All right. But they're trying to get information on you. They're looking at your social media. Yeah. Clouded judgment. There you go. To be fair. But now, shocking events are happening. There's something shocking going to happen here. But somebody's uh, judgment was clouded when it came to you. It was an illusion. Somebody was doing some fuckery here with somebody's energy too. But there was an unbalanced here. Distorted view. Yes, now people are getting their karma. To be fair. There you go. Consequences, cause and effect. Pain up depths. Yeah, because rejection came out fumbled. But somebody here that rejected you or you rejected them, they're going to come back around. They feel confident that you're not going to reject them. But then again, they're unsure. Okay? Again, this is their karma. They see your good fortune. Be careful with who you share your blessings with because you have to allow people to go through their fucking karma. Okay? And fantasy. Okay, a lot of a lot of uh, daydreaming here, imagining here. Okay, some of you guys may love fantasy movies or romance movies and envisioning your, you know, you you want this uh, happily ever after. You know, a lot of fantasizing here and illusion. Snap out of it. Okay, but there's somebody daydreaming about you, fantasizing about you, can't stop thinking about you, and they're manifesting you. This may be you too, but I don't see that with you. <laughs> I see that with the other person. But let's begin. Yes, the lovers. This is having to do with the lovers. There was a choice here. Gemini. Okay. Gemini, Virgo. But this is all about self-reflection as well. Shadow. You're dealing with your shadow side. You're going to have a choice in love here. Follow your intuitions. But the lovers. Okay. Somebody still hold love for you. They, they, they fell in love here. And you may have fell in love too. But there was a choice here. Yeah. Somebody's manifesting you. Oh, wow. Somebody's manifesting you, desiring you, okay, fantasizing about you. What I said, fantasy. Somebody's manifesting. Again, with Gemini and Virgo, they're desiring you. You're everything that they wish for, your, their fulfillment. But you're manifesting too, and now you're manifesting more than <laughs> what you expected because you're going to have uh, options. Yes, this may be a King of Cups. Uh, Pisces, Pisces, Scorpio. This per this could be somebody that has kids. This could be somebody secretly in love with you. Um, yes, but there's somebody who's emotionally available coming in towards you. All right. Now, some of you guys, this person may drink a lot, or you may have grown up with a dad that drank a lot. Okay. But yes, this person is gonna remind you of your dad in a sense. Yeah, page of wands. Somebody wants to send you a message here. Um, ask you out on a date, but they're researching you. They're studying you. Um, yes, they're desiring you from afar. They're in love with you here. Okay. Yes. Um, this person may be some type of politician, or you may be some type of politician, police officer, performer, uh, inspirational speaker, salesperson, whatever it is. They're watching what you're doing, and they're watching you carefully and reading your text message and what people say. If you have social media. Yes, temperance. They're taking their time. This may be a Sagittarius. They want to. They want your forgiveness, okay? But you're forgiving yourself. You're forgiving the past. You're you're getting a lot of prophetic dreams, here. They're taking their time, okay? They're taking their time, but you're restoring balance and peace in your life, okay? Yes, six of swords, okay? Yes, this person may live a distance, but I do see you moving on to calmer waters, to peace, all right? But you're all about progression. All right, stability, but the calm after the storm. No more clouded judgment for you. No more, no, done. Okay, yes, but somebody's moving in towards you as well. They want to come in. You're in transition. Yes, you're all about work. Some of you guys may have to move for work. Okay, so this is somebody, something that you're going to have to think about. But again, uh, pray on it, meditate. Okay, yes, but this is about confidence, working on yourself. Uh, mastering your skills here okay yes looking for a new job as well it's taking its time yes six of wands I see a promotion <laughs> all right you may be meeting somebody through work as well but I do see you triumphing over your adversities victory and success for you fame celebrity status yes but somebody wants your attention here at work at work 
You may get a lot of attention at work as well. Yes, the devil. Ooh, sad. Somebody's obsessed here. Okay, obsessed. Yes, with the devil here, this may be a Capricorn. All right, somebody's obsessed with fame, obsessed with status, obsessed with titles. Okay, somebody wants to have control. And this is somebody with control and power. They use this control and power. They come in very nice, very sweet. But then when you get the gist of it and see who they are, you're like, oh, no, I got to move far away from you. But there's somebody obsessed with you as well, obsessed with your obsessed with you at work and, you know, your status. OK, yes. Yeah, some of you guys may be obsessed with status as well. I ain't going to lie or health and this and that. But um, with the double here is an obsession, addiction. Um, yes, yeah, control. Yeah, with the strength here in reverse. Okay, um, yes. It was like um, with this devil, this person had power over you or you have power over them. But for some reason, it was like a back and forth thing with this person where you guys couldn't let each other go. But now somebody's moving forward and is leaving their other half with the lover. It's, it's missing. It's missing. They're weak without you. Okay, they thought that they had control over you or control over the situation, control over your mind, your heart, but they thought wrong. Now you're working on yourself, your success, and they see it. And now this person become obsessed and they weak for you. They're weak for you. They're longing for you. One day though, they're fantasizing about you. Okay, but they're feeling inadequate. Yes, they wanted you to feel inadequate, but now this person is coming in vulnerable. Yes, Ten of Pentacles, boom. Yo, yo, wow. Lots of money coming in towards you. This person may have a lot of money. There may be a lot of money involved, property. You may be married, like I said. Okay, yes, all right. But I do see promotion and your business taking the fuck off. Okay, lots of money coming in. A windfall, go play the lotto. Some of you guys may have hit the lotto. But somebody coming in with a big deal. You're going to have a choice, a new love. There you go. Somebody coming in with a big deal. Now, some of you guys may be pregnant as well. Um, but there's some type of inheritance. Somebody's coming in, whoever this is, has some type of inheritance or, you know, have or is very successful already. This is a new love coming in for you guys. All right? But I do see new beginnings for you. Giving yourself new beginnings, releasing pain, and focusing on business and work and yourself. Working on yourself and loving yourself. But definitely new love and new feelings. You're going to have new romance uh -huh. coming in. Getting out of a toxic shit. Okay? Yes, the emperor, what I said. All right. Now, you may know this person <laughs> already with the emperor, but this is your energy. You're taking the lead of your life. You're bossing up, but this is a leader. This is a boss. Okay? They want to come in and pour their love out. But, again, they're weak without you if you know this person. But there's a new love coming in, and this is a fucking boss. You're going to have options here, but this is a boss, okay? Aries Taurus. They're in love. Yes, hangman. But there's a lady. This person is, is, is overthinking something here, okay? Thinking about the consequences, uh, what's going to happen. This person may have a business. They're married. There's family involved, or pregnancy, or children. Yes, but this person fell in love. And you fell in love, too. And this may be you. Okay, now with the hangman, there's a lot of thinking going on here. A lot of del is delays here, Pisces. Okay, somebody needs to sacrifice here. That's basically what this is going on here, but somebody's getting a new perspective. Yes, and waiting. Okay, planning. Somebody's planning something here, but fantasizing and seeing the future is this is going to work between you and them. Okay, but um, it's all about self confidence. Now, this person may be of different culture, all right, but you're moving forward and you're traveling. Okay. You're getting your confidence back to do what you need to do. But you're planning. But somebody's waiting for you. And you, be, you may be waiting too to hear from someone. Yes, eight of swords, but somebody may be stuck. Or in, in jail. Or you may be stuck in a situation, but stuck in the head. Overthinking something here. Stuck in a situation. Yes, there's a stuck here. There's a lot of anxiety here and hopelessness and feeling pressured here. Feeling pressured here. Yes, five of cups. A lot of regrets, a lot of remorse. Mourning and heartbreak over you. Some of you guys may be mourning the loss of this, this person as well. It's a void. Okay, they're feeling lonely and isolated. This is you. You're in solitude, but you're spiritually developing. But uh, some of you guys may be drinking or giving up drinking, but fasting. You guys need to fast as well. 
but there was a trauma. Some of you guys may be born into death of someone. Yeah, page of cups. This may be a child. Some of you guys may be born into death of a, a child or a loved one. Or this person may be younger than you or was immature and, you know. But um, this is you healing. Healing your child, your inner child as well. All right, but follow your intuitions. But somebody wants to come and apologize to you, okay? Now, this may be a crush that you have that you rejected. I mean, uh, that's just for some of you guys. But um, somebody wants to cooperate with you here. But you went quiet. You went quiet on this person and you go to this person. Somebody may have changed their number as well. Somebody may have lost their job. Somebody's down and out on their luck. Somebody may be having health issues. But you're ghosting people. Somebody ghosted you as well. Okay, now you're trying to get back to that place again. But somebody possibly lost their job and doing fucked up financially and lost their home. Yeah, Queen of Swords. With the Queen of Swords here, uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Somebody may have got evicted or owe money here. That's why they ghosted and there's some type of court issues going on here. But this is to be fair. Judgment. There's a judgment call. But I see that you spoke some truth to this person as well. Okay? Yes. And this person just left it like that or, yeah. Okay, but you're standing up, you're setting those healthy boundaries, and you're standing up for what you believe in and what is right. Okay, yes, you suffered a lot of loss in life. Yes, what I said, judgment, karma, karma is at play here. Scorpio, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Yes, four swords, and now you're isolating and removing yourself from people. Okay. Yes, somebody may be bedridden or in the hospital or going for surgery right now, but there's a mental overload and you're just releasing right now, regrouping yourself, rest, peace, healing, taking place here and not speaking to people. Now, yes, the world, this is about to close out, traveling, okay, but it's like physical and emotional, you're working on your physical and emotional health. All's well ends well. Yes, Ten of Wands came out from, but I'm releasing this burden once and for all. Releasing it. Yes, and now your money, wow, lots of money coming in. Destiny is at play. What you wish for is coming in. And I do see celebrity status and fame. Okay, but what you wish what you, what you wish for is coming in. Your burden is about to be released because I do see a promotion. Lots of fucking money coming in. Yeah, the Hierophant. God is on your side. But this may be a marriage as well. And some type of alimony and child support and, yeah. Okay? That's coming in. But a new job. Lots of money and a proposition. Somebody coming in with a proposition. They can't, they can't, they can't hold their buck, their, their love back anymore. They can't hold these feelings inside anymore. But there's new, there's a new opportunity coming in as well and new love. So choose wisely. Okay? Hold on. But right now you focus on money and I see a new house as well. New house, lots of fucking money. Business taking off. Yes, wisdom. Share your light to the world. Light workers out there. Your business taking off. Okay, spiritual healers. Sell spiritual products. But shedding your light on the world. Let your light shine. Yes, trust. You. It's not that you can't do it. You can do it. And you're taking that leap of faith. I do, I do see something around nighttime. Somebody's going to come in towards nighttime. But you're you're very mysterious. With the moon here, there was some type of mystery and illusion surrounding you. And now you. it's not you can't do it. You can do it. Okay? But somebody finds you to be very mysterious as well. Because you're just isolating oneself. And you're in spiritual solitude. But you're going to take the leap into your destiny. You're very wise. Yes, use discernment. You're very wise, but somebody's spying on you here. But use discernment. Take a closer look. Don't take things at face value. Yes, wildcat. In reverse. You never know what's lurking in reverse because you know what's up. You know what's up. You're going to see it. You know what's up with these people. Yeah, they're watching you. There you go. You have somebody keeping their eye on you. I mean, evil eye as well with the green eye. Yes, but fullness. Okay, give thanks. Spirit wants you to be grateful every day because the fruits of your labor is coming in. Your hard work is going to pay off. And pink again. Fuchsia again. And you're going to be quite content. Okay? Yes. But you're going to have you have a lot of judgmental people around you because you're going to be indulging in the fruits. You're going to be... <laughs> your good fortune is coming in. Some of you guys may be purchasing a house with a pool or love to swim, but take your spiritual bath. Now, spiritual bath. Get some um, salt. Okay? Epsom salt. Um, 
coarse salt. All right, get your Florida water. Okay, get the salt and take a spiritual bath. And you could put coconut oil in there. Okay, coconut. All right, all right, let's continue. Yes, this was a third party situation. Somebody has you had a had a side piece here. It was an affair going on here. They were non-committal. They were vindictive. They were acting cold towards you. A uh, king of fire, a player, possibly had STDs. All right, but this was somebody that was very arrogant. Okay, abusive, verbally abusive, hot temper, wanted their own way, felt entitled here. Aries or Sagittarius. A player. Yes, Queen of Fire came out fumbled. Okay, so you guys, oh God. Ha, 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 ha. Perfect match. They met their perfect match when it came to you. Okay, so you had a side piece, they had a side piece. You did it, you, they did it to you, you did it to them. But I see that you guys was cursing each other out. You guys told each other about themselves. Here, but somebody had, somebody wanted to ruin somebody's reputation here, or somebody wanted to leave somebody insecure here. He was like, I don't think so. But fire, fire meets fire here. But uh, yeah. It was toxic, low vibrational here. You guys fully, fully didn't develop. Yeah, Mercury, communication is coming. Communication was off with you too. Okay, it was a runner and chaser dynamic here. This person, now this person is feeling weak. You feeling weak? Okay, yes. They're, you're, they're, you're, you guys are missing each other's half because you guys fully didn't develop here. You guys fully didn't come to this. You guys are fumbled. Okay, because side piece and cheating and STDs and lying and cursing each other out. So now it was a lack of, the communication was off. But now somebody wants to talk things over here. Be rational, reason, be practical here. But now you're not speaking. You're into, yeah, but there was an opportunist. There you go. This is, was a gold digger. Somebody was using somebody here and somebody called somebody out in their bullshit. And you possibly was using each other. But somebody was definitely plotting here. Okay, now somebody's suffering poverty. Yes, somebody's homeless. Somebody's fucked up, like I said. But you're going to be breaking those generational curses. First millionaire. Your money is definitely coming in from rags to riches. But somebody tried to fucking play you here. And you was like, I don't think so. I played. I do. I does this. Okay, you're not going to take me back to that person I used to be. All right, they try to take you back to, they try to put you on their, on their level. And you're like, I'm not on your level. Fuck out of here. Karmic storm. Like I said, somebody's going through their karma. So are you. But again, you may have been the black sheep, but somebody else is coming in. You're going to be the, you're going to be the, the legacy. Yes. Queen of swords. This may be an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Your, your spirit guides are protecting you here. Okay, but you're being honest, truthful. You're cutting through the mask here. You're speaking up for what you want. Some of you guys may work for the law, be into military. Yeah, the heart chakra in reverse. Okay, you're cold right now. There's a lot of cold, jealousy, pain, but this person was cold towards you. Now they're having a lot of fucking regrets, but this was a codependent relationship here. You're closed off right now. Your heart chakra is cold, closed off. Yeah, this may be a Pisces. Okay, but follow your intuitions. Uh, you you can pick up on person's energy rather quickly. You're mysterious. You was you was overly generous to this person, but not anymore. Not anymore. Now you have determination and drive. You're the wounded warrior, but you keep going. Okay? One more. Yes, 3D. This was somebody on the 3D. Yes, fucking and sucking, selling drugs out there. Yes, partying. You're like, you know what? Fuck you. I, I ain't got time for this. Uh-uh. You, you cut it out. You cut it out. You spoke your truth. You cut it out. And now you're all about breaking those generational curses. Okay? Right now you're still trying to heal your heart chakra. Okay, yeah, these were secrets. Lies, secrets. Now you're moving in silence. Connecting with your soul tribe. That's what you're doing. That's it. Now it's all about you. Okay? Your self-worth. Valuing yourself. All right? A lot of healing needs to take place here. Yes, everything is happening in divine time, but you're giving yourself time. Time is needed here. But it's all in the timing right now. Pull another card to see if you need to do it now, wait a while, or make a different decision. Balance and restoration. Right now, it's all about balance. Okay? 
Yes, perspective. Came out fumbled. But you're trying to gain a new perspective on the situation. You feel like it's done. It's wasted. Somebody fucked up a soul contract here. But it's not. Somebody's going through their karma. Karmic storm happening here. And I do see success. Okay? If you change the way you look at things, you can see everything in a brand new light that will help you get where you need, where you want to be. Yes. But right now, if you, if you, but somebody's getting a new perspective. Somebody took their time and their time right now. The path you're on will bring you success and prosperity if you just keep going. Lots of little steps take you a long way. You're on the right track to success. To success. But relationships is coming in. But right now, you're, you're, you're like, you know what? Fuck you. Fuck relationships here. But it's coming. It's coming. It is coming. Somebody is, is regretful that they rejected you. Well, yeah. But to be fair, I mean, <laughs> yo, they see you breaking those generational curses, baby, corn, because this person was acting corny. But grace, fulfillment, prosperity, and divine favor. I can't make this up. Your blessings are coming in. And they see it. They see you breaking those generational curses. They see it. But now they want in, and that's why I say use discernment. Spirit say use discernment. Take a quick, take take a closer look, cause you're gonna have options. Full circle, everything is uh, uh is coming in full circle. You're coming in full circle. You're coming in alignment. Okay, yes. Some of you guys, spirit guides, may be the wolf, but you have chosen to learn from your mistakes and move forward, closing out the cycle. There you go. Every layer of yourself you acknowledge is a layer that served its purpose. You are now feeling your power by seeing your inner strength and determination pay off. Be proud of this moment and let it carry you forward. Yes, be proud of yourself because you decided to leave this motherfucker in the dust. And now you're going to have options. It's not about love. It's about loving yourself. So when this person comes back, what are you coming back for? My riches? You see me doing well? You see my blessings coming in? What are you coming back for? Because you're going to have options, baby. Yes, the crown. You're taking the lead in your life. Gold. They see your gold. Okay? They see it. They see it. But somebody needs to work on their shadow side. And they get hit bad with karma. So this is not your karma. Yes, face. I do see fame. But right now you're isolated. Okay? But your face. Something about your face stands out. Money skills. Investor. Taking risks. Face value. That's why, that's why spirits say don't... Don't see things as face value. See things for what they are. Career. Self-made. Fame. Exposure. And reputation. Boom. Bada bing. And I do see you meeting some type of actor as well. Some type of actor is coming in or celebrity towards you guys. Care careful now. Hold on. Let me see who's coming in. Yes. But I see that you're going to take your time. You're going to weigh out your options. You're all about business. Okay? Yes. You're still working on yourself. One day at a time. A true gem. Jewelry. I see engagement. This person is going to be gifting you. You're going to have, they're going to see your value, your worth. Some of you guys may work in a jewelry store or like a lot of jewelry. A younger person, possibly light skin, blue eyes, blonde hair, sporty, youthful. Cars. Yes, you're going to call <laughs> what I said. <laughs> what I said. Possibly a dark, darker person. Okay, but right now you're all about spiritual growth. Everything I said. This person possibly have children. You have children. Okay. Yes, a light-skinned person. Light, dark, young. <sighs> Stamina. This person may live a distance, but you feel the void. They feel the void between you and them. Yes, you're all about work. I t I can't make this up. Yes, but there's a union. Some guy, somebody may be married here, but I do see communication coming in, and a new uh, a business offer. But this person is, is all about career and money with you. Yes, short term. Yeah, short term. This was based off of lust. It was a short term thing between you and a person, but now that somebody's coming back, but you you guys are gonna get married. You guys are all about work, spiritual growth, your career. I'm telling you, that's what I picked up. But be careful with lust, yeah. But somebody wants to give you something here, okay? Your gifts, your blessings are coming in, but you gonna have options. So choose wisely, all right? But anyway, I have to go, Aries. I have to go pick up my son. I love you guys. I'm possible. You're possible. You're Tosh. I'm out.